Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your team company, create best-selling games, gain fans and become the leader of the market. The leader of the pack. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> sorry. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a game. Again, a name. Company name? Oh, company name, that's a good one. Shall we call it... Hmm, <gasps> Aceman Productions Limited. <laughs> ah, you can only do up to that many. Uh, well, what we shall call it is MG Aceman Gaming. Ta-ta! Uh, player name. Yo, yo, I'm a player. Obviously, the player is me. Oh, should be a boy or a girl. Oh, that's girl. That's boy. Well, I don't care what people say. I'm playing. It's me. I'm a boy. <laughs> um. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, that looks kind of eighties. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's it. Well, yeah, go on, that'll do. Uh, what colour top shall I wear? Ooh, stripey. That's nerdy enough. Yeah. What's this settings? Advanced settings, game length. Ah, 35 years recommended. 30 years, fast paced. It's only fast if you're going to do 30 years of... Uh, uh, 42. Right, we'll just stick with that anyway. Uh, you can always continue playing after the main game is over. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, okay. And... Continue! Ooh, achievement unlocked. Supporter. Blah, 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 okay. Oh, and there's even an achievement unlocked on the Steam as well. Which is what I forgot, is that you won't... See. If I do... This is the first time I am playing game dev... Uh, tycoon, as you can see. Um, any achievement, Steam achievements that pop up at the bottom, you won't see because I use Bandicam to record these. It's a better program for whatever. But anyway, let me see. What do I do? Ah, develop new game. There we go. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Ooh. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Okay. So. Game concept. What should we call it? Uh, hmm... World class golf. I always like me a good, a good golf game. Topic. Oh, <laughs> I think I should pick the topic first. Oh, martial arts. Hold on. World class ninja. There we go. Uh, genre. Well, it's got to be action because it's martial arts. And if we do it on... Ooh, the G64. Now, just the PC for me. Right. Text-based or 2D graphics. Yeah, well, we, it's, it can't be text-based if it's an, a, a ninja adventure game. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. So, let's get developing. Um, oh, hello. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game gr greatly increases the points you generate. Ah, right. Which, the, the points you generate are added to these at the top. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description... No, 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 no. Right. Now, because this is a world-class ninja martial arts action game. Um, well, you want plenty of gameplay. So how much can we choose of that? Well, 
let's choose a lot of gameplay uh, store requests mm, a little, drop that down a little bit uh, the engine I think we can maybe drop a little and that should do Um, aha, game development has now started. Well, thank you for that confirmation. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Okay. As you can see there, what it means by bubbling up is as your experience grows. Ah, here we go. So, right. Artificial intelligence. Don't need a lot of that. I was actually watching someone play. <coughs> Excuse me. I was watching someone play uh, this uh, last night. I was in like, the, today's Sunday. The 22nd of June, by the way, I was uh, recording this. And so last night, uh, the Saturday night, I watched, oh, what was his name? E-Mood. He, uh, he works for Sony in America. I, I can't remember exactly what. He, he, he apparently works in the Final Fantasy department or something like that. Anyway, he was playing this, and I, I thought, yeah, I'm going to watch someone play to get an idea of like what you need to do. And this, and obviously somebody like him is going to know what to do if he's in the industry. Uh, so it's martial arts action. We don't need much dialogue, really. Um, I think level design. Yeah, that, that's that's the thing that needs most, really. So I think we should push that right the way to the top. I think that should do it. So yeah, I was watching uh, this guy Emood uh, play um, this, and he was kind of giving me ideas. Uh, during de development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its costs. Uh, you will also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This is just remind you of the charge. Right, so development stage three. All ah, right, so those are the you got graphic two D graphics V one and sound basic sounds. Right now it's an action game. Uh, let's see. How shall I allocate the time? I think a bit more time to uh, graphics. Sound, yeah, you need you need good sound. Uh, world design, I think, if I put that up a little bit. Um, okay, maybe drop the sound a little bit. Uh, add a bit more graphics. There we go. That should do it. I mean, that's the kind of thing people want, isn't it, really? World design and... Yeah, come on, carry on. World design and... Uh, and good graphics. I mean, although people say graphics don't mean everything, which, as you can clearly see by this game, it doesn't mean everything. But it's the gameplay, and it does. You want something that looks nice as well. So, right, the development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and can't afford to wait. No, exactly. Uh, maybe we can squish a few bugs out. Well, what's it? Ta-da! There we go. There's all bugs gone. Uh, just leave it. Just finishing off. No more bugs. Design, technology research. Done. Okay, let's finish. Uh, the development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience to improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Righty ho! Seems to have a bit of a habit of having to need to double click the thing. So, what's this? Bonus? Ooh! Times 1.5. New topic, new combo. Engine, blum, gameplay. 
Wowzers, Penny! And after all that, shall we trash the game? No, I don't think so. Uh, oh, even I get some exp uh, experience, but we're still level 1. So obviously we've only just started. Release the Kraken! Uh, release the game, I should say. Oh, and I've unachieved another allotment. Yes! Yes! English speak me now. Uh, your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews coming in for the game soon. Oh, righty then. Aha! The first reviews for our newly released game, World Class Ninja, came in. Six could have been better. Four, uninspiring. Falls a bit short, oh dear. Fun at stages. Well. Boo hoo. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyse your creation and generate a game report. Blah, 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 blah. Game reports are a great way to gain insights and develop insights of what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. To generate a game report, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Anywhere on the screen? Oh, but that. News! MG Ace Man Gaming, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, World Class Ninja. The game received favourable reviews. With such a good start, MGS Man Gaming are sure to gain fans quickly. Yeah, can I uh, click anywhere on the screen? Then? Ah, okay. Well, let's just wait a bit, see what's up. Oh. Uh, oh okay, I'll, I'll click that. Right, okay. Unit sold, well, we don't know yet. Costs, income, release, yada yada yada. Select. Let's just close that a bit. Let's just wait and see. Ooh, wow! Didn't quite enter. Uh, didn't quite enter even the top forty there, did we? We made it to the charts at number eighty-four, mate. <laughs> now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can see all your game is doing all well the sales graph in the top right of the screen. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a bit of a dry cough. I know, I, I, I seem to never get rid of this cough, it's just this dry cough that's, you know. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Uh, as long as I have a drink, I'll be okay. It's not that kind of a dry cough that you keep coughing, you know, because it's on the advert. <coughs> you should get that soon too. Uh, World Class Ninja was so successful that we all have 19 fans. Mmm. Alright, okay, so that, oh, I'll have to add another 10 fans, has it? Okay. Industry news! Recent markets, recent market studies suggest that the Govador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Experts say this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Oh! <laughs> so anyway, well, I've got enough cash now. Uh, generate game report. Unit sold 9k. That's just that week. Costs, income, profit. Average review score 49 fans. All oh, very good. Oh, well, obviously there's just that one. Okay. Select. Uh, oh. Oh, is, oh, of course, yes. Your game needs to and stuff. World Class Ninja has achieved a company sales record with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of MGS Man Gaming. Um, our post-release analysis of World Class Ninja is complete. And we got the following results. 1. Martial Arts and Action is a great combination. Dialogues seems to be not at all important for this type of game. Which is why I kind of... I oh, love it. Mm. Game reports are a great way to gain more research and points and new interests. 
insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this menu and click anywhere. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. Just try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Hint. Try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Alrighty then. So. Uh, Alright, so if I click that, that opens up. Ooh. So what should we do now? Ooh, city. Start research on city. All oh, right, so you click that, then you do the research. Okay, I get you now. And research complete. You have successfully researched a new topic, city. Ah, and it's cost 10 points of research. So I've only got 12 left, and that cost me 10. Right? Uh, it's now off the market, blah, 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 blah. Okay. According to rumours, Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own gaming console. Ninvento is known for the wildly successful arcade game, Dinky King. Wow, that's not very, uh, not very uh, innovative, is it really? As in for GameDev.Tokyo, I mean, Dinky King. Couldn't you have like come up with something a bit different? I don't know, whatever, anyway. Not that it matters. Uh, many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, let us develop a new game. Now let's pick the topic. Um, okay, let's do City. Uh, what should we call this one? Ooh. I mean, SimCity would be a bit too obvious. So, um... Uh, Ooh. Should we call it Village Growth? <laughs> Some, this is just like a stupid thing. Um, now if it's going to be City, it shall be a simulation. And we shall develop it on the G64. Now then, uh, yep, 2D graphics, blah, blah, blah. Start development. And away we go. Right then. Uh, let's see. Story quests. Not that important because it's a simulation. So we'll drop that. Stick the gameplay right up there. And the engine, I think, will ramp that up a little bit. It's not that important. I mean, the game engine for a, a like a city simulation type game, it's not really. Oh, that was quick. Not really. Uh, I think. Dialogues, I think, will pump that up a little bit. The level design, it's a simulation, so you don't really need much level design. Artificial intelligence will raise that a little because uh, artificial intelligence that's sort of the people that help. Like, if you've ever played some kind of like SimCity or something like that, you've got uh, yeah, advisors and people like that. Then, uh, right. now obviously, you want lots of well design, lots of graphic. Um, not so much sound, really. It's a simulation, so I think we'll uh, we'll just keep that pretty low. But otherwise, I think that should be okay. Let's just zap the bugs, which is pretty quickly done. An uh, inventor has confirmed recent rumours and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES. Good grief. Early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. 
Okay. So at the moment I've got 56 fans, blah, 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 blah. This is year one, month 12, week two. Wow. Any more? Any more? For any more? No? Oh, crap. Thank you to MGS Men from Patrick and Daniel Klug from Green Arts Games. Hi, MGS Men. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon and we'd like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Uh, okay. Game Dev Tycoon is our very first game and it means a lot to us that you are enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future. I kind of did wait for it to go on sale first. I wasn't going to pay full price, so. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I didn't want the game in the first place. I just didn't think it was worth the price. I mean, I know that sounds a bit condescending and a bit against indie developers, but I've got to be honest, I didn't think it was worthy of the price, basically. Because it's basically a rip-off of the rather popular um, mobile version of the game, if you know what I mean. Anyway, seriously, you rock! Thank you very much and have fun with the Game Dev Tycoon. Clug, clug, clug. Well, thank you for making the game off a PC. But as I say, I'm afraid I didn't want to pay full price. Yeah, call me a dick, but sorry. <laughs> sorry. Right, here we go. A new record! Engine has gone up another 100 points. Gameplay, 100 points. Story quest, not so much. Dialogues, ooh. Level design, ooh. World design, ooh. Ooh, not so much for me, though. Release the game! Here we are, the first round. Village growth. <laughs> What did I think of the name Village Growth? I guess I didn't want to really call it something so obvious, but anyway. City and simulation is a great combination. Very good. <sighs> Enjoyable. Simulation games work well on CG uh, G64. Well, those are better reviews, aren't they? I mean, it may have cost a bit more in the... The development stages, but but uh, hello. Oh, well, I saw it go up to rank forty-four. That was a big improvement from uh, oh, what was it eighty-four before. So right. And it's been released. Okay, I'll get the message. It's obviously done well. Cash chitching. And we've gained a lot of fans. Right, okay, so if we generate a game report for village growth. Click. <laughs> It's off the market, it's sold a fair bit. Hmm, jolly good. Our post release analysis of uh, City is a good combination. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. Didn't really think it would be because it's not the kind of game you have levels in, is it really? In a simulation. You know, it's not like a platformer type game where you have different levels, you know. Anyway, uh, right, that's said, isn't that? Research, new topic, uh, space. Come on, you've got to do space. <laughs> it's kind of one of the, uh, oh, with that scratching going on there. <laughs> it's one of the more kind of popular type things. So, yay! New topic: space. Develop new game. Game three. Who remembers pigs in space? Topic: space. Genre. 
Uh, what should we do? A space... Space adventure! It's an adventure in space! Um... ITK license fee. Good grief. On there, anyway. G64. Uh, 2D graphics, again. Don't really... I think what I might try is a text-based adventure or something. Uh, now, this one being an adventure, whoop, you want lots of store requests. Gameplay, I'll... Well, yeah. We want lots of time on gameplay. The engine, I'll drop that down a little bit to there. That should be good enough. I mean, it's... It, it'll, it'll take more time, obviously. You, the, but the more time you put into it, then obviously the better the game will be, as it says. Uh, being an adventure, you want lots of dialogues. Uh, level design, obviously, is rather important. Oh, yeah, go on, we'll just ramp that right up. Artificial intelligence... Mm, yeah, I'll leave that there. That should be enough, I think. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I mean, Game Dev Tycoon R, oh, I have played hours and hours of the... Uh, the, the, the old found version of... Uh, the game dev story, which is basically what this is based on. Uh, adventure, well designed, obviously lots of sound. Yeah, go on, let's ramp up the sound a bit as well. Uh, yeah, so that's why when I originally saw this being released on Steam, I thought, well, that's not a complete rip-off, is it? Um... And yeah, obviously, it is. <laughs> so we've got a new combo. All the engine. Oh, here we go with all the different stats and stuff. Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you too much uh, with this. Th this will be the last game before I stop recording because obviously you can just play for hours and hours and hours. That's, that's the whole point. Or you can even edit the title before you release uh, release the game. So anyway, uh, initial thoughts about this is, yeah, it's good. I mean, uh, nice graphics and stuff. The gameplay is pretty much what you expect. Um, you, you got the, the review thing here, the, you know, the pretend stuff. And, oh dear. Looks like this may not be as uh, spectacular as I thought. Meh. <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> oh, it just reached that much. Is oh dear. Oh, hello. Hi there, I've just finished Pigs in Space. Wow, really? It's only been out a week. Uh, and I think you have potential. I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you have a short on cash, let me know. Blah, blah, blah. Well, thank you, Jason. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen. Oh, well. It was a bit of a gamble, really, with... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me, once again. It was a bit of a gamble with uh, that kind of combo. So, uh, let's generate the game report. And uh, <laughs> not do that again. So anyway, I will end it there. This has been Game Dev Tycoon. It's not bad, it's okay. Uh, obviously, the more you play it, the, I suppose, the better it gets and blah, blah. And you, you learn more uh, about it with all this. And so, yeah, check it out. It's on Steam. And that game's now off the market, so I'll move on to the next one. Thank you for watching. 
Join me next time and goodbye for now.